Hello everyone, I'm Rodney from 3DGameMan.com and today I'm looking at the SwiftTech H240X all-in-one CPU cooler. Now this particular unit is virtually identical to their H220X except this one has a larger radiator. It's a 280 millimeter and two 140 millimeter fans. But everything else including the pump and the water block is the same. It's packaged very well, a piece of styrofoam at the top and everything else is fitted very well inside so it's not going to be damaged during shipment. Included is an installation guide. The unit itself, again the same pretty much as the H220X. You have the same pump, the same water block, except for a different rad, a little larger, and the fans are 140. As well they include this PWM splitter a tube of their Timmate thermal compound. Everything needed for installation on AMD and Intel sockets, as well as these color blocks, and I'll show you those a little later on. So let's have a closer look at this PWM or Pulse Width Modulation Fan Splitter. It comes with a serial ATA power lead and a four pin fan lead which gets connected into the four pin fan header on the motherboard. It gives you the capability of connecting up to eight four pin fans. You can attach this using the included bolts and nuts if you want to, but they also have some sticky tape here so you can attach it to just about anything. Now this isn't your typical all-in-one liquid CPU cooler because it's not sealed. You can add extra components to the loop if need be. You can add, for example, a video card water block or a couple of video card water blocks or really it's up to yourself how many water blocks that you want to add to this. Buy some extra tubes, buy some extra fittings and the way you go. But this is like an all-in-one liquid CPU cooler in respect that everything comes together. Very easy to install as well. You've got the fans already attached to the radiator. You've got a reservoir, a pump, and a water block. So let's start with the fans. They include two 140 by 140 by 25 millimeter fans. They include four pin connectors. They spin between 700 to 1800 RPMs. The airflow is between 35 to 90 CFMs. They are of course 12 volt fans and the noise level is anywhere between 8.3 to 28.8 decibels. But let me tell you these fans are pretty quiet even at maximum spin they push a lot of air and well they look super cool. Now this is a quality copper radiator. You can see the mini fins. Here's their logo and this is pretty neat. They have a clear window so you can see the level of the liquid inside of the reservoir plus the action that the pump makes when it's pumping the liquid through out as well as a level if it gets down to minimum or around there you should refill it and to refill it's very easy just remove this cap and fill it up where it needs to be and then replace the cap. Now take a peek inside of the reservoir when it's lit up you can really get a quick visual indication as to how much liquid is in the system plus it just looks cool. Now since this unit is not sealed and you can add other components to the loop you need a very powerful pump and they have that. This is their MCP30 pump. It's 6 watts. Comes with a serial ATA power lead and a 4 pin PWM connector. And if you're wondering what this other lead here is, it goes into the reservoir to an LED. Now the pump speed varies anywhere from 1200 all the way up to 3000 RPMs. And it comes with a ceramic shaft as well as a PTFE bearing, so it will pretty much last forever. Now these PVC tubes are really flexible and durable, plus very thick. The outside diameter is 5 eighths of an inch, or 16 millimeters, and the inside diameter is 3 eighths of an inch, or 10 millimeters. And note how they get connected to both the water block, as well as the reservoir and pump on the other end, as well, they can twist and the connectors, well, they are fantastic. They use screws instead of clips so you know that the tubes are not going to be disconnected. Now have a closer look at the top of the water block. This thing looks incredible. Very rugged. It also comes with a three pin power lead. 
And on the other side, a big slab of copper. It's very smooth, which will make excellent contact between it and the CPU. And if you don't like blue, no problem. You can do green, red, or white. And how you replace this is very easy. Just take this top piece off, then you put this piece down, and then the top piece goes back on. So just have a look at the different colors. You've got, again, blue, green, red and white and it looks even better when it's lit up now this is very important because you don't want to mount the radiator incorrectly and on the screen you can see the correct orientations for the radiator you can have it at the top the back or the front of the case but not at the bottom so pay attention to these radiator orientations when you're installing it okay have a listen to just the pump and after this i'll turn on the fans as well A little interruption here in this video review to bring you a word from my sponsor, Antec. They currently have a new power supply line, the Edge series. They come in three different models, 550 watt, 650 watt, and 750 watt. You can check them out at www.antec.com. Now, back to the video review. Now have a listen to the fans, and by the way, they are at a maximum spin and the pump. If you're on the fence and you're really unsure of which all-in-one CPU liquid cooler to go with, you know, you're considering going custom possibly, but you're unsure of the components and how to put it all together and the extra work involved, you mightn't have that time, and then you're considering going, you know, sealed all-in-one, but that doesn't give you a lot of flexibility. Well, if you were in that situation, this would be the perfect solution. Now, it's not going to be the cheapest all-in-one CPU cooler that's on the market, but in my opinion, it is the best. Now, that's a bold statement, but I've been using Swift Tech products for years. They work, work, and work. Just incredible overall. With this unit, like the H220X, you've got a fantastic water block, super pump, and an upgraded radiator, larger, and as well, 140 millimeter fans. And by the way, these Helix fans look spectacular. They move a lot of air, and they are super quiet. I use these myself, love them. Overall, this is, without a doubt, a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.